Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria and my channel name is Under Victoria Spell. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about all the things that I dislike in my romance books. And if you want to see me talking about all the things I love in my romance books, I also have that video on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and hop into it and talk about these things. Okay. So, I'm going to talk about all the things that I really dislike in romance books. And I feel like it's not a lot. I was writing my list and I was like, okay, maybe like I'm not as picky as I think I am. But I'll go ahead and just start with the number one thing that I hate in romance. And that is insta-love. I cannot stand when characters meet and they're instantly obsessed with each other or they instantly hook up, or they instantly say, I love you. I really dislike that because I feel like you're not getting that character development and you're not seeing that chemistry come through on the page. Uh, as soon as someone is, or characters in a book say that, I'm already losing interest because I'm like, how can you just meet someone and be obsessed with them? You can think they're beautiful and you can lust after them, absolutely. But I just feel like that's not real and that's not genuine. And I just cannot stand that in romance books. I feel like the only thing that really would explain insta love is if you had a past with someone or if you knew them for a while. But I still feel like that's not really insta love because you've built that connection. But I don't want to read in the first or second chapter that you're in love with them or you're head over heels or you can't imagine your life without them. I do not like that. And I feel like that's also a pretty common thing, especially with the people that I watch on booktube. They're not big insta-love people either because I feel like it's really hard to connect with those characters whenever you're not getting the build-up or the character development in the story. So I feel like that's a pretty common thing to not like in romance books. But, I mean, maybe I just haven't read one <laughs> that has just captivated me. So, maybe there's one out there that's an insta-love and I love it. <laughs> but, that's the first thing that I don't like. The second thing is I am not a big fan of the pregnancy trope. I don't know why. I just, it doesn't interest me. Like, I don't like pregnancies like early on in the book like they have a one night stand together and they and she ends up getting pregnant and she doesn't tell him and now it's all these years later like I just I'm not a fan or if she's pregnant by someone else and then our hero is gonna step in and be the father like I don't know I just feel like I haven't read the right ones to make me be like I really like this trope it just, to me, doesn't sound right. I was reading Twin Fantasies by Opal Carew, and it has a pregnancy trope in it. And it's where she had slept with two different guys, and she doesn't know who the dad is. I DNF'd that book, didn't even finish it, because I just felt like it didn't make sense for the story, or maybe I just didn't give it enough time to make sense. But it's just not something that I look for in my romances. I'm okay if it's like towards the end of the book or if it's in the epilogue or the 10 years later, whatever. That's fine, but I'm just not a fan. <laughs> just not a fan. The next thing I really don't like in romances, and I feel like this is maybe more common with new adult or um, college romances, and that is like another girl being mean to the heroine because she's hooked up with the hero. The catty girl, the mean girl in school, however you want to define that character. I really don't like other females putting females down. Like I just feel like that's such an outdated trope and there needs to be females supporting females. And if you've hooked up with someone or if you're with them in the past, let that be the past. Let that person move on. I'm just over the cattiness and the Regina Georges of books. But so far, since I've started reading um, different types of authors and books, I haven't really come across that. But I just think it's an unnecessary trope and it's outdated. 
and we just need to be supporting each other a lot more and be happy for other people's happiness even though you might want to be happy with that person or that certain situation but that's just me but I hate that in romances another thing I really do not like is the third act breakup over a stupid reason or whenever the heroine or the hero or whoever is involved doesn't get to explain what happened they just instantly storm out or break up and then they're just left heartbroken i feel like that's a very common thing and not very realistic i feel like in life when you're in a relationship with someone you at least try and communicate the best that you can and explain the situation i hate when it's something so dumb as like being in a romance and they're fake dating or they were dared to date someone like an after sorry this is spoilers if um you have not read that series then the first after book here or no i'll send the um actor's name his name is hero uh the the hero in after lied to tessa who's the heroine about you know sleeping with her or being with her and she just ran out of that situation didn't give him time to explain and i really don't like seeing that in romance i'm like we've you know i understand there has to be a climax and things have to happen but i also feel like that's very outdated and there's other ways you can go about things besides lying or not explaining why you're breaking up i just dislike seeing that in romances and the last thing that i'm not really a fan of and that is rock star romances and don't come for me on this because i know so many people love whenever it's a rock star or has something to do with music or anything like that for some reason i have just never been a fan of rock star romances or a famous person like that just does not intrigue me whatsoever how they're sought after for millions of fans and i just I, it's very hard for me to get into that that type of romance i mean i guess it would be different if it's like a romance uh suspense but I just don't get like going to concerts or going to ballets or being, you know, a YouTuber or whatever the person is in the book. It's just not something that I really like. I guess that might just be more of a personal preference, not that authors do it wrong. It's just not something that I like. And I don't know why. I've tried so many good ones. And I know that there are really good rock star romances out. But that just does not interest me <laughs> at all. But those are the five things that I really don't like in my romance books. I know probably after I finish this video, I'm going to be like, I should have included that in that. But that's all I have for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Comment down below the things that you do not like in your romance books or tell me something that you agreed with with me or disagreed with. Um, I really enjoyed filming this video and I'm so excited to continue filming more. I'm currently planning my videos for September and I'm so, so excited. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.